Romans chapter 6. Having been set free from sin, we have become slaves of God. The sixth chapter of the book of Romans addresses the topic of a believer's union with Christ and the power of his death and resurrection in the life of a believer. Paul emphasizes that through faith in Christ, believers are freed from the power of sin and are called to live a new life of righteousness. Exegesis by sections and verses. Verses 1 to 4. Believers are dead to sin and alive in Christ. Paul starts by addressing the question, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? His answer is, certainly not. How shall we who died, live any longer in sin? Paul goes on to say that when we were baptized into Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death, and that we were buried with him. He says that just as Christ was raised from the dead, we also should walk in newness of life. Verses 5 to 14. United with Christ in his death and his resurrection. Paul explains that believers are united with Christ in his death and resurrection. He emphasizes that just as Christ was raised from the dead, believers should also walk in newness of life, considering themselves to be dead to sin and alive to God. Paul tells us to not let sin reign in our mortal bodies and that we should not obey it in its lusts. He says that you are not to present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but offer yourself to God as being alive from the dead and to present your members as instruments of righteousness. Paul emphasizes that sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. Grace gives us the power to overcome sin. Verses 15 to 18 from slaves of sin to slaves of God. Paul addresses the concept of being slaves to sin or slaves of righteousness. He emphasizes that believers should not continue in sin because they are no longer under the dominion of sin but under grace. Verses 19 to 23. From slaves of uncleanness to slaves of righteousness. Paul says that he is speaking in human terms because of the weakness of your flesh. He goes on to say that you presented your members as slaves of uncleanness and of lawlessness, leading to more lawlessness. But now present your members as slaves of righteousness for holiness. For when you were slaves of sin, you were free in regard to righteousness. What fruit did you have then in the things of which you are now ashamed? for the end of those things is death. But now having been set free from sin, and having become slaves of God, you have the fruit of holiness, and the end, everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Overall Summary Romans chapter 6 focuses on the believer's union with Christ, and the transformative power of his death and resurrection. Paul emphasizes that through faith in Christ, believers are freed from the power of sin and are called to live a new life of righteousness. He highlights in the act of baptism, believers are united with Christ's death and resurrection. Paul urges believers to consider themselves dead to sin and alive to God, walking in newness of life. He contrasts the consequences of serving sin with the gift of eternal life that comes through serving righteousness. This chapter serves as a call to live in the freedom and power of Christ, yielding to righteousness, and pursuing holiness in every aspect of life.